Hello, this is Electronic Technology, and I'm going to make a video on how to patch your Windows XP to use custom themes on your computer to customize it. Um, it doesn't matter if you have Windows XP Service Pack 2 or Windows XP Service Pack 3. Um, one way you can find out is go to your My Computer Documents, where my mouse is. Right, cl right click on My Computer, go down to Properties. The last thing should be last. And when and your when the information should pop up, and it, where this it says system, you can't see mine. Um, it's by the home edition. It says service pack three. Um, I'm going I'm going to put the links in the description. Um, here's uh, the service pack two. Windows XP uh, service pack two final description. Um, I'm not very familiar using the Service Pack 2 installation, um, but it does how it does show you a step-by-step -step process to use this information. Well, I, I, I highlight it in the text. All this is information on how to patch your theme, your UXL theme, for your computer. Um, also, here's um, UX theme for Service XP Service Pack 3. Yeah. Um, very simple, easy. Um, I then when you want to download this, go ahead and go all the way to the top. Click on download. I'm using Softpedia. Um, the you want to use the external mirror one. It's gonna be it's a RAR file. Um, I best zip file RAR file I use to extract is uh seven zip. And I'm gonna display that in my in my your uh, my description also. Just click on download. Um, I done downloaded it. You want to hit save to find it, and oh, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and patch this real quick. First thing before you do it, go to properties. Right click on your desktop. Click on properties. Um, change your theme to Windows Classic. Hit apply because you're patching the Windows XP default all right it's, um, I have mine on a USB flash drive so I'm gonna go to my computer go to removable disk that's why I, that's why I have mine stored on uh, it'll show up something like this UX tender click on it it's uh, uh, it'll pop up this it says this patcher Works on XP, Service Pack 2, Service Pack 3. Please be sure to run the version of Windows before patching your system. For details, check System Properties. System Properties is just to see what version of Windows you're running and what Service Pack you're on. Um, if you if your system screws up, I'm not responsible for anything that you all do. Because if you use it at your own risk, it may it might damage your system. I did a couple times to mine. I haven't done anything to mine yet, so. I think it'll, it'll be doing. Uh, I think it'll do all right on your all system. So I'm gonna go ahead and patch. Wait a minute. It says patching successful. Reboot for change to take effect. Hit OK. Exit. All right. I'm going to go ahead and restart. Let me save everything. I'm using Windows Internet Explorer 8, the the current version that's out right now. So if you want to check in there, that's good. I mean, it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hit restart on my computer. Um, if you're wondering, um, I'm running a HP Mini 1000. Um, my version of Windows is Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3. Um, I have a 16 gigabyte HHD or SHD solid state hard drive, um, and one gigabyte of RAM. But I don't know why they say one gig because I only have a 0 0.99 gig. Um, so we see there's the HP logo.
Alright, give me one second, I'll log in for y'all. Um, your Windows Classic will remain on there, um, but you can change back at any time. Just simply right click on your desktop, go back to properties, um, click on Windows, just normal Windows XP. Um, I'm just going to change my background back to normal where it was. Alright, so your XP toolbar is still there. Um, now, if, uh, now we're going to test to see if it worked. All right. Um, so let's start and explore. Um, go to google.com. Sorry for the computer is running a little slow at startup. Alright, I'm on Google. Um, in this case, I'll type in uh, Windows. Windows 7 theme for XP download. Alright. Um, Let's see what this does because I haven't researched this yet. <laughs> Alright. Click right here. And that's all I'll display the link in the your uh, in the thing too. The description also. My uh, a bot flash players people on popping up. I haven't installed it yet. Alright, here's what my theme my background, my theme ETC is gonna be like. Um one way to do this. Um hit download hit save my documents save alright it's done I'm going to minimize that so I can get the link for y'all um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out um, I, saw, I saved it to my documents so I'm going to go all the way up to my documents Alright. Um, it's it's gonna be in a zip file. Um, I'm gonna right click. There's the same. Let's go install it for you. So that's pretty good. Um, go ahead and exit that. All right, there goes my theme. I'm gonna hit apply. It says please wait. There you go. It's Windows 7. Uh, thank you for watching, and please comment and start check out my site. Thank you.